But I want to also touch on this really cool exercise that that I think is great for entrepreneurs, people that are listening, anybody that's going to start a business and do hard things like go raise money, go ask people to buy their products. You have this exercise called the no exercise, and I, I would just love for you to, to touch on it and just tell us a little bit about what it is. And, and I'd highly recommend anyone who's listening to, to do this themselves in any capacity. So every class I teach, I make the class go out as individuals and over a period of several weeks, start asking people for stuff with the goal of getting 10 people to say no to them. And they can ask for anything. They can ask for money, discounts, favors, freebies, upgrades, special treatment, anything. And uh, my students go out in the world and they start asking for things. And to their amazement, the hardest thing about the exercise is getting 10 people to say no to you because <laughs> you're saying yes. And my students have gotten unbelievable amounts of value. And you've, I, you've tallied it, right? Have you tallied oh, it? Absolutely. I tally it. I make them tally it. I had one student who got about $80,000 worth of value this summer by wow. doing this exercise, which covers much of his MBA when you think right. about it. Totally. So um, that was by far the biggest number. But over the years, students have gotten thousands of dollars worth of benefit. What was your experience with the nose exercise? No, I loved it. I mean, for me, it was something that, you know, your, your class reinforced it a tremendous amount, but as an entrepreneur, it's kind of like when you go raise capital, you're quite literally getting no way more often than not. And so for us, it was just like, it was almost like we, we ran it like an algorithm where it was 10 no's usually equal a yes in, 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 in getting capital in raising money. And so we would just collect the no's because we, it would mean it was kind of like a mountain, right? Where one no, two no's, three no. And then by the 10th rung, you're going to get the yes. And so every no we got, it was like, we had tricked our mind into feeling excitement over a no. And, and, you know, when it comes to raising capital too, I think it's sometimes just a bad fit, right? Sometimes you have an investor who might be really into biotech and you're talking about software. And so from our perspective, sometimes you're just going to have the bad fit. And sometimes they just want the meeting to learn about what's happening in other spaces. And so that was our experience. But I remember in class too, I remember, I think um, somebody was buying a car and so they had, they had saved some money. And then I think a guy asked his wife for a threesome and he candidly shared that in class. And <laughs> he said it didn't go so well, <laughs> which was you pretty know, funny. I don't restrict my students as to <laughs> ask for, but sometimes they amaze me with what they choose to ask for. It, it, what's really nice about this exercise is that rejection is really hard for people. And by forcing yourself to go through it over a period of a few weeks, you realize it's not so bad. Hmm. That when someone rejects what you ask for, they're not rejecting you personally. Most of the time it has nothing to do with you. And they don't hate you for it. They just either say yes, they say no, or they offer you something other than what you asked for. And that you're okay. And one of the beauties of the nose exercise is that if you're asking and you get what you asked for, excellent. And if you don't, you were hoping for a no because you're trying to accumulate them. So either way, you're good. It's a no right. lose exercise. And I really recommend for everybody to go out in the world and just start asking for things and use it as a learning exercise for yourself. Um, you'll learn a lot about yourself, about how you react to rejection, how you build up the narrative in your mind before you even go ask. And that makes it so hard for you to ask. Because before you approach the other person, you're already imagining how they're going to react to you. You're imagining and all the terrible things that might happen. And all of that is taking place entirely in your imagination. So yeah. it's much better to just ask and see what happens hey everyone thanks for checking out that clip if you enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button down below and if you're interested in hearing the full episode it's out right now on our youtube channel we've had a lot of great guests come on this show before and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future so hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode and one final note we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show so if you know of someone or know of a company Write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.